It's Morphin' Time! Hello, this is Sanit here, and we have an unboxing. As I mentioned in my previous Heroes of the Grid video, which was, like, yesterday, uh, this was coming in the mail. It showed up a lot sooner than I expected, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this is the Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid Zeo Master Just the New Stuff Kickstarter bundle. Uh, this was... A very successful Kickstarter. I'm putting that with a very much question mark. It's at a thousand percent of its goals. So I'm going to go with, yeah, very successful. Now that being said, um, this bundle in particular is strictly the new stuff for Phase 2. So no add-ons, no additional stuff from the first one. There are a lot of different tiers available. But I already had everything from the first Kickstarter. So we're just going to roll into the second one. Uh, if you could guess by the name, uh, it features characters from Power Rangers Turbo. Obviously. Okay, that's actually one of the things in here, but more specifically, it is a Zeo expansion. Um, a lot smaller box than last time, which is nice, because the last box was, like, a lot more stuff. Uh, and this actually took less time to get produced because they had less content, so that was also pretty nice. Uh, so first things first, on the top, we've got our bonus promotional card. This is a Kickstarter bonus that is the Red Battlezord Zeo Ranger 5 Red Zord card. Now this can be used in place of the Zeo Zord 5, um, but this is actually thrown in because the campaign was so successful and it hit that thousand percent of its goal mark. Um, so this is pretty nice. Uh, I do uh, not see any reason why this needed to be packed any more than this. They just kind of toss this in, which is great. Uh, I'm going to stick this in the Zeo box later. Okay, so let's see. Ooh, first things first, let's discuss... Everything inside, let's first pull out the Zeo Ranger pack. This was, of course, a fan vote from the first phase that was done by the backers, so we got that going for us. Uh, next up is the Legendary Ranger Tommy Oliver pack, just to make sure Jonathan Ying does not have to design Tommy characters anymore. Uh, we've also got Mega Goldar, who's probably in a bigger box than I was expecting, which means I gotta rearrange the cabinet. Uh, then we also have the Kickstarter Phase 2 exclusive Zeo Gold Ranger. Now those, uh, right away I'm just going to say, those that are wondering, oh how do I get Zeo Gold if I didn't get the Kickstarter, well he's also in the Ranger Allies pack, so they already made him available but without some bonuses. So there's that. And then there's a block of foam. Now this, to some people, might seem like packing material. But to board game players who do a lot of stuff that sometimes has loose things that rattle around, this is life, so I appreciate the life. Uh, that being said, the bubbles, that's just packing material. So, all that aside, uh, let's take a closer look at some of the stuff here. So it is four boxes, which, you know, like last time we had a ton more stuff. Um, but let's start with the Zeo, let's start with the Zeo Ranger pack, since that's kind of where all this begins. Um, so, very nice artwork. Uh, Matt Frank is the artist on this. Uh, I had the pleasure of meeting him at Power Morphagon. Super nice guy. Uh, so he did all the Zeo artwork, as far as I know, um, for the box and the cards. Because uh, there's not a lot of Zeo artwork existing from the comics. So this is pretty nice. Like like with the first uh, phase, it's nice to see new art of Power Rangers stuff. Because we really haven't had that uh, over the years. So um, much like phase one, everything you see here is pretty much going to be available, I think, pretty soon. Uh, so, like, the Zeo Ranger pack will be available for purchase. So we're gonna... I forgot when these boxes are fresh that they stick. Okay. So, first things first, we've got a 2019 fall catalog. Uh, so not an update for 2020 yet. That was the same as before. Looks like we got a special rule sheet just for the Zeo Rangers. Uh, talks about attaching energy tokens, gaining hit tokens, stuff for specifically Zeo. Uh, we've also got a promotional pamphlet for the game, which this is the same uh, ad they run in the comics. So that's pretty neat. Uh, and then we get the actual figures. Ah, uh, yet again. Okay, so this is like one thing that, you know, I love this game and I love its expansions, but this is something I keep noticing is that in these Ranger packs, the character cards are just kind of dropped in the bottom of the tray. Um, so I, I really do need to find a another solution for this, but... Anyways, this is uh, this is all the character and Zord cards for these characters. So we've got uh, Zeo Zord 1 for pink, 
Zeo's or two for yellow, which, you know, two walking, like, statues have never looked this cool, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, Zeo's are three, blue. Zeo's are four, green. Five for red. Zeo Megazord. Cat, Zeo's are, or Zeo Ranger one, pink. Tanya, Zeo Ranger two, yellow. Rocky, Zeo Ranger 3, blue. Adam, Zeo Ranger 4, green. And Tommy, Zeo Ranger 5, red. I do like how they actually are in the number order as opposed to a color order. Um, that's completely superfluous because once you open this, it's kind of all over from there. Uh, we're not going to look at the individual cards, but there is tape. There is tape! That is a first. There's never been tape on these trays. Or there has, and I peeled it off and completely forgot it, and I... Someone will go back to my old video and be like, hey, you, there was tape on the last one. You just weren't paying attention, which is entirely possible. So uh, we've got the cards. This is 50 cards for the Rangers. I'm going to open these later and take a look at those in the videos we'll do at a different time. Uh, so here's Zero Ranger 1 Pink. This pose concerned me when they revealed it because of the single leg, but it looks like she's pretty solid. And she didn't come warped because they really did a good job molding her for the tray. Um, so that's pretty nice. We got Zero Ranger 5, red. His sword's a little warped, but not too bad. Uh, Zero Ranger 2, yellow. I've noticed a lot of these poses are also more open, so you can kind of get in and get more details. I know some, like Mighty Morphin Black, frustrated people that were painting because his weapon was in the way of most of his chest detail. Uh, 4, green. That's our first normal green ranger that's not like a 6 ranger. And then blue, he's kind of leaning. Got a little bit of a lean dome, but there's the Ranger 3 blue. So that's pretty nice. Um, we're actually going to leave, we're going to put all the miniatures out just for fun this time. Because last time we didn't do that, but that's because there was like a hundred of them. So we're going to do that. And so yeah, that's the Zeo pack for the Zeo Rangers. We'll organize all this off to the side. I didn't put any of this away. I'm a mess. All right, so. Uh, next we'll go to the next one, which is the Legendary Ranger pack for Tommy. Uh, the fact they put Legendary Ranger says to me, like, that specific thing that they might do more of these, but really outside of, like, I don't know, Jason or, or Adam, there's not really a bunch of Rangers that have a bunch of forms to do this. I think this is kind of like a one-shot. Uh, this is essentially, for those that got the first Kickstarter box, this is, like, three-fifths cool. Um, but for those that couldn't get the first Kickstarter or didn't want to pay all the money just for the two Tommies, this is actually pretty awesome. Uh, so I think this is a great way of doing it, because this way you can have people um, get a chance at green and white without having to uh, buy the really big, expensive Kickstarter box. So it uh, looks like we also got another rule sheet, and I believe this has, let's see, yeah, it's got about Brachiosaurus effects, but it has the Legendary Ranger mode, which is a new mode for the game where you uh, actually do a deck building thing, which I really want to try. So we're going to look into that. Um, that'll, that'll come up in a video later. Uh, same thing here. Character and Zord cards are on the bottom of the tray underneath. Uh, but we've got... Let's see this open. So we've got the Dragon Zord, same as the Kickstarter. White Tiger Zord, Kickstarter, same. Lightning Cruiser, this one was a little bit of an odd choice. Uh, I think they decided to do this so that Red Lightning would be... Uh, with TJ, if they ever do a turbo pack. Uh, Brachiozord, which pretty awesome. The Dragonzord Battle Mode uh, Megazord card, which was a nice little surprise. They threw that in. Uh, so then, what's interesting is that you get the Mighty Morphin Green Loner card and the Mighty Morphin White Guardian Light card, which was the same as their, their Kickstarter. But the set also includes two new character cards, which is Gift of the Dragon and uh, what was it Rallying Light. So these are new effects. So for those that did have the Kickstarter box and have been playing as these characters for months, now you have a new reason to play as Mighty Morphin Green and White. Uh, then we got Shift into Turbo for Turbo Red and Legendary Mentor for Dino Thunder Black. So that's pretty sweet. Um, nice to see a lot more of these cards, um, especially the Zord cards. And looks like, yep, we got tape again. Again, probably was tape on the first one. I just peeled it off and then never noticed that it was there ever again. So inside here, uh, we've got the character cards as well as the monster cards, uh, because there actually is a monster included. This is the only 
regular-sized villain, and that is the evil robot Tommy from Ninja Steel's Dimensions and Danger episode, which is pretty cool. I think that's honestly a great inclusion. Uh, the reason why they didn't include uh, Zeo Ranger 5 Red in the Tommy pack is because he was already in the Zeo Ranger pack, and putting out characters that were Kickstarter exclusive and then releasing them in a retail box later makes sense, but putting two of the same the same uh, Ranger in a single Kickstarter would probably be weird. Uh, so here's the Turbo Red, the uh, Tommy. They're pretty nice. Um, Dino Thunder Black is the other new one. Nice pose as well. They're, they're really changed the sculpts a lot so that people have an easier time painting them. And then uh, the actual miniatures for green and white are completely different. We'll compare them in a different video. But it is a new sculpt for green and a new sculpt for white. So that's pretty nice. So it is, it is new stuff for the people that have the older stuff. But it is also a chance for people to get these a little bit easier than before. So that's pretty nice. Uh, let's look at Mega Goldar next. So just like with Cyclopsis from the first phase, Mega Goldar is a boss monster that has component cards, which means he's probably very, very scary. Uh, I haven't fought Cyclopsis yet, as many may know. So this is, this is kind of interesting. Uh, so this is a, another deluxe figure. They based the design off of Legacy Wars because they figured it's just making a giant Goldar miniature would be a little redundant. So they decided to go ahead and make it based on the Legacy Wars design, which is cool. Uh, it kind of gives some variety. Uh, so once again, an instruction sheet specifically for this character with the component cards laid out and everything. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and yeah, it looks like... Oh boy. Um, first things first, here's his cards. Pretty sure it's the same as Cyclops. This should be six component cards, six attack cards, and one deployment card. And then here is the big guy himself, and he is huge. Like, he is actually heavier than the Megazord and the Cyclopses are. Uh, and just like with the Megazord, his sword is a separate piece. So you can paint it, and you don't have to worry about when putting it back in that the sword could bend. It doesn't hold as tight as the Megazord. It kind of flops a little bit, but I think if you paint that, it will probably stiffen that up. But look at that guy. <laughs> they're, they're really killing it with the giant miniatures. I think, you know, if every phase comes with one of these, that's going to be fantastic, because that, that's amazing. Um, and that also makes it like, you know, if you want a giant Goldar figure based on the Legacy Wars design, you can just get this, even ignoring the... Uh, the gameplay possibilities. Okay, so lastly we have the Zeo Gold character pack. This is specifically a Kickstarter exclusive. Um, it does have brand new art, I think, all the way around on the sides on there. But this guy uh, was not being sold on his own. I don't think, because I know the Kickstarter box that they had for, for Phase 1 has gone up for sale a couple times on the Renegade website. I don't think this guy will, only because he is available in the Ranger Allies pack. And none of his cards are different there, so this is kind of this is kind of a special early bonus. But also, there's something in here that I don't think is going to get repacked later. Um, looks like the same ad for the game. Uh, looks like we actually have... Um, yeah, we actually have a whole rule sheet on his specific abilities. I do like this because... I know with some of the Kickstarter stuff, we kept asking uh, Jonathan Ying, like, hey, what does this do? How does this work? Uh, and for those wondering, in the box, uh, all the cards are in the bottom and the figures on top. Uh, this is the first time we've had a single-packed figure, which is really interesting. So before I get to all the cards, I really want to look at this, because he is a nice shade of gold. Like, that is specifically a gold color. Now, I know in Japan, uh, King Ranger is technically a Black Ranger, but you know, over here in America, we consider him a Gold Ranger, uh, since he's called the Gold Ranger. But that is a nice shade of gold, because the, the gold they showed on the image, I think it's the same on the box, it's, it wasn't this nice, nice deep color. So that's actually really nice to see. Um, so yeah, we got all six Zeo Rangers there. And uh, of course, he's got his cards, so we've got ten combat cards. Standard stuff there, and then we got his character and Zord card. If I can get this open. And I should say characters, uh, because they actually did something really cool. So first up, Pyramidus is his Zord. Makes total sense. He actually comes with two character cards. Now, 
just like with the Tommies where you have an option for a different effect, these actually have different identities. So we've got one card for Treya Triforia, and then one card for Jason Lee Scott. So you've got both versions of the Gold Ranger included, and both of them have different effects that work off of the King symbols. And those actually uh, are based on, you know, Jason inheriting the powers and Trey having the powers from the beginning. Now, the thing that made this whole thing totally worth it for uh, Kickstarter, and this is the part that is probably never going to repack. We're getting a different Zeo Gold miniature, so I guess it's this sculpt and then six dice. Uh, they actually originally were going to include four. In fact, I think I saw this on Facebook, yeah. The box does say includes four combat dice. We actually do get six. Uh, they bumped it to six because it's a six dice attack, and people were saying, well, we really want a six dice uh, set. So they're in a little bag like the base game dice, but these are the clear black color with gold symbols. And I think they look different than the dice for that came in the dice pack for the Black Rangers. So I actually think that is different, and we'll compare that in the Zeo Gold video. So that does it. Uh, oh, yeah, I almost forgot Block of Life. Very important. Um, so that does it for this expansion. This is quite a bit of stuff, honestly. Like, every time they do a box of stuff, you're always like, okay, there's five more figures, there's there's more miniatures, there's more cards. It just, it adds to the game. I think my biggest thing right now, uh, if I were to say anything for the future of the game, um, I would honestly probably say, I think that the one thing that we need right now is more villains. Because in this expansion, we only got two more. But in the first the first phase, we got so many villains and, in comparison, so few rangers that I honestly think that it kind of balances out. But with the next pack being another pack of rangers, I think it's time to get some more villains. So hopefully we see maybe some Machine Empire. Maybe they'll go nuts and just start pulling randomly from all over the franchise. Whatever works. But in the end, uh, this was a great expansion. I'm looking forward to more. They did say that we're not done with Phase 2, that this is like the Phase 2 Kickstarter, and obviously the Ranger Allies pack is happening. So we'll be taking a look at all this in individual videos on Heroes of the Grid Showcase. I'm probably going to break it down as doing the Zeo Rangers plus Zeo Gold, and then do the Tommy pack and then Mega Goldar, uh, either together or separate. Um, I don't think I want to throw everything into one video simply because there's a lot of new mechanics at play, um, but I might do, I think I might just do them individually, but then bundle in Zeo Gold with that, guys. Um, so... That does it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Comment down below. Let me know uh, what you want to see from this channel in terms of content for this. If you want to see gameplay, I might actually work to try to figure out, especially things like Mega Goldar or Cyclopsis. Uh, and then, yeah, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on a video. I definitely have more episodes of Here's the Good Showcase coming. i got a lot to work with here. And, uh, yeah, so we'll go from there. Also, check out Graphic Artist on Twitter, uh, DarkCloud643. I appreciate all of his work on this channel. Uh, so please check him out. He does art commissions, so talk to him on there, because uh, he is awesome. And check out Hero Club at hero-club.com for future Hero the Gr Heroes of the Grid news. Uh, check us out on Patreon. If you have a uh, chance to support the channel, please give us a uh, give us a drop over there and see how that goes, because right now I'm talking too much and my brain's melting. So on that note, till next time, this is Sadat saying goodbye.